Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this little video we are taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Stylized 3D Tools. Now this does kind of follow on very slightly from the last review I did, simply because I discovered these at the same time. Uh, but I obviously reviewed them separately because they are two separate assets. So let's take a look at this one. Now this one did surprise me in one very particular way. Something which I very rarely see uh, when actually reviewing these assets. And that is that right there. That is pretty much identical to how it looks on the front image of this asset. Obviously it's just a case of moving it around but the quality and image and look of it is the exact same here. It's very rare to actually see that kind of thing in these assets. So moving on from that, quality wise they're actually really nice. I really like the quality of these. They're well detailed, even if being low poly, slightly as it were. I mean, zoom in real close and they do get a little bit blurry. But I mean, even there, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. There's some assets where you can be just here and they're already blurry. They're really well made. They look nice. They look good. So yeah, quality, top notch, really nice. I really, really like how they look. So quantity, what do we get? We get just these three tools, really. We don't get much more than that. We get the models, prefabs, and uh, textures. We also get a nice little script as well called Rotator, which, you know, realistically, that's all good and well. But it, it's just a little script. Um, so I guess you could count that perhaps as extras, just rotating like so. That's all it really is. So maybe I could count the script as an extra. But overall, yeah, we get what we see. We get the tools. Perfect. So how versatile are they? Well, the good thing is that each one of these does have a separate texture. So we can actually change each um, weapon or tool, whatever you want to call them, individually. So for example, if we want to change our axe right here, we could just play around with the um, material a little bit, see what you can come up with. Again, it's all down to you and how you want your game to look. So that looks a little bit more jagged and maybe slightly more realistic than these now again it just depends on your preference and what you want to design so i'm just going to undo that and reset it and i think it also comes down to a little bit of post-processing never hurts anyone just to try and see what you create from it how it looks so i do like the fact that each individual one does have its own texture we can modify change where we need to make it look as cool as possible make it look as simple as possible again it's really down to you so how useful is it and where would we use this kind of thing? I think they are very useful. Obviously this axe is going to be perfect for being for cutting down a tree. The pickaxe as well if you want some mining. You know you've got a first person game, you've got a mine, you want to do some mining. That's going to be awesome for it. That's a really nice asset to have for that. The hammer as well. The axe, they're really well made. So if you've got some kind of fantasy game maybe. or A good example for me if I look at it is I see... A little bit of Firewatch in there. If you've never seen Firewatch or never played Firewatch, um, maybe have a quick look at it. You can see the style of it. That's also made in Unity, by the way. And you can see that how that would probably fit into that style of game. So yeah, I think it's going to be very useful for a lot of different things. So price, free. Always good to see a free asset like this because they're really, really nice. So I'm happy that it's free. But it's only free at the time of recording this little video. It may change, it may not, who knows? Asset prices go up, they come down. But even if it was maybe a dollar or two, I think that's probably worth it. File size is where it does fall down ever so slightly. It is 49 meg. Now that does seem quite high for what we get here, but don't let that deter you. I still think that's a fairly decent size in some degree because a lot of assets that you would see on various different places are a lot bigger than that for a lot less content. So yeah, it's just something to be mindful of. It's not massive, but it's not exactly small. But again, I think it's a nice asset for, for what it is. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. And I'm sure you guys know what I'm going to say. Of course, I'm going to recommend this. I think this is a really, really nice set of 3D tools that you could use for almost any game. If you're going for a style which is similar to how these look, perfect. I really think they will fit in quite well with what you're creating. If you're a newbie to Unity and just want some kind of weapon in there, at least making it look a little bit cool, yeah, again, try this. And if you're a seasoned veteran with Unity, but just need an extra little tool or something hung up on the back of a, a workshop somewhere, perfect. 
these are going to fit in quite well. So yes, I would recommend this asset to pretty much anyone. So guys, have you used this asset? If you have, let me know what you think of it. What have you used it for? Are you still using it? What could be improved? Is it perfect for you? Let me know. And if you've got an asset on the asset store, also let me know. Link me so I can check it out and maybe review it on one of these little videos. Finally, guys, don't forget, click on that subscribe button and click on that bell icon as well to stay up to date with all the videos I upload on video game development, tutorials, asset reviews, Unity games. Yeah, there's a lot to learn. So guys, until the next video, thank you very much for watching.